T2C9 Empire, what's up? You already know who this is. So, I guess you could say part two. Some uh, Minnesota Drag Queens Hate Week. Uh, yo, uh, Young King. Or should I call you Skull Viking? You know, I believe you're the same person. Um, I watched your uh, garbage ass little video. That you said absolutely nothing in, to be honest. You said absolutely nothing. Said exactly what I thought she was going to say. All you talked about was the players that left. Talked nothing about the game. You talked nothing about, you know, the players we got that we're going to stomp your motherfucking guts all over the field with. Um, You sat here and tried to downplay certain players, which is funny because uh, you say... Anquan Bolden's old and slow. And you don't need to worry about him. Well, if that's the case, he's old and slow. Why don't you put your goddamn rookie DB on him? Go ahead and do it. I hope y'all motherfuckers do. Put that put that motherfucking kid that can't cover a receiver unless he's holding a motherfucking pass interfering him. The one you got out of Michigan State. Trey Waynes. Anquan Bolden's got, you know, two 1,000-yard seasons in a row with us you don't got to be when when you got the football IQ of Anquan Bolden and the toughness of Anquan Bolden you don't have to be fast he's got them hands he's got he's got the IQ he knows what the defense is gonna do you know he's a really really smooth route runner he can he can burn guys just with his route running you don't got to be fast when when you got good route running like that it's like back in the day Jerry Rice was never the fastest dude on the field never it was his route running that fucked people up but you wouldn't know nothing about that cuz you're half retarded you said that just because we got a new offensive coordinator, our offense is going to be the same as last year? Really? You do understand that our offensive coordinator took Greg Roman's playbook, shoved it up his ass, and kicked his punk ass to Buffalo with him, right? He built this playbook in the offseason from the ground up. You guys have no idea what we're going to do on offense. You have no idea what we're going to do on defense. You motherfuckers are coming into this game blind. No tape. What, you gonna watch our preseason tape? And? And? I mean, really. Fuck you gonna get off preseason tape. Besides Jared, Jared Hain out there just truck sticking people. Now, I'm going to tell you about your motherfucking squad since you don't seem to motherfucking know or since you seem to motherfucking try telling us who we need to look out for. I'm going to tell you real quick. That receiver you mentioned, not Mike Wallace, but the other one, I can't even remember his name now. Charles Johnson, I think it is. Yeah. This is the same Charles Johnson you said we got to look out for and who we going to have cover him. Bear with me. This the same Charles Johnson that's going into his third year, has played in 12 games, has a total of 475 yards receiving with zero touchdowns. You realize that's averaging close to only 40 yards a game receiving, right? Why do we need to worry about stopping a 40-yard a game receiver? Why? We don't. 
And Mike Wallace, I'm not worried about him. Tremaine Brock could go ahead and take care of him. And if you don't think so, you know, Tremaine Brock's pretty much shut down Hall of Fame wide receiver anyway. You know, when I, uh, the last time I saw Tremaine Brock, uh, you know, shut down Andre Johnson, who's in a whole different stratosphere than Mike Wallace. And don't, don't give me this bullshit about, oh, well, look who his quarterback was. You understand Andre Johnson's probably going to go into the Hall of Fame. And you do understand, he's had trash quarterbacks in Houston the whole fucking time. And he's still probably going to go into the hall. He's a beast. It doesn't matter who his quarterback is. Tremaine Brock will do his job against Mike Wallace. Now, on to Adrian Punk Ass. Peterson, you do realize, you probably don't even know this, but Adrian Peterson against the Niners, no matter what defense we have, against the Niners, averages three yards a carry. Fuck do we need to worry about three yards a carry for? Really? You do know he'd have to carry the rock like 34 times to break 100 yards at three yards a carry, right? Good luck with that. All right, so you want to get on here, you know, talking talking garbage that you know nothing about, for one. And you just look at stupid as fuck with your whack-ass videos. This is supposed to be some motherfucking hate week. Step your fucking game up. This is a warning. And this is the only one you're getting. Your team's been drugged through the mud already. You guys should just give up the hate week because you've done lost by a lot. Like I said, this is just a warning. I hate beating on retards. I hate smacking retards around. So I'm giving you a warning and I'm trying to help you. Get your game up, son. Get your game up. So, I really ain't got much, much else except... I'm sticking with my... my uh, what I said in my first video, and I think we're dropping 40 on you. Say what you want about my offense, but I promise you that offense will be putting points on the board. Oh, never mind. I do. I got one more thing to touch on. You talked about our running game, how it's sorry. All you mentioned was Carlos Hyde and Reggie Bush. I want you to know Reggie Bush ain't going to get the carries like you're thinking he's going to. You know, that's, that's going, I mean, yeah, he may get, he may get a few on third downs or whatever, stuff like that maybe, but as far as anything else, I see Reggie Bush being used more out of the backfield than anything else. Because we got Mike Davis, who looked pretty good in the preseason, and Jared Hain. We all know what Jared Hain can do. You can downplay it all you want. But Jaron Haynes a fucking monster. And the Hain plane's taken off in Santa Clara. So when you guys roll into Levi's Stadium. Blackout conditions. And you look across that field. And motherfucking 28's got that rock. And he's running stretch runs in a zone read, picking up 15 yards a clip, smacking anybody who comes in that motherfucking hole and just running them over. You ain't going to be saying our running game's trash. You probably didn't know that Carlos Hyde was top three last year in broken tackles in the NFL, and that's in 85 carries. 
That's it. He had 85 carries. And he was top three in broken tackles behind Marshawn Lynch. And Marshawn had, what, probably 250 plus? That's a wide, wide margin. And carry-wise. Carlos Hyde's like six foot two, two hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah, he's like six foot two hundred and twenty pounds. With four or five speed. So before you talk about trash run games, do your homework. And I do gotta retract something. And not really retract it. Just be like, you know, just say my bad on my first video. Y'all don't got Greg Jennings no more. He's in Miami. I slipped my mind. Totally forgot y'all traded him for Mike Wallace. But, like I've been saying, though, no. it doesn't matter what receiver you got or not. I don't give a fuck. The only receiver threat I'm worried about is Kyle Rudolph. <clears throat> but Kyle Rudolph won't do enough to win this game for you guys. So, till next time, I'm out.